Your Walk. Episode 25. If it was the lights, it explains... Liar! It explains one thing. What's that? The lightning storm. If light flipped the devices back, it was probably that... that... that lightning that flipped them in the first place. By accident? None of this has happened by accident. If someone did it on purpose, they'd have had to have some enormous lights directed this way to penetrate through the storm. Oh. Do you remember what Angel said about the burn massing last night? At the lighthouse? That one on the horizon? Doesn't look like there's anyone there now. We should go there now. See what, what, see what happened. Liar. The burn. Fire. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Stay low. The lighthouse looks deserted. But if there's burn hiding in there... It's fine. I've scanned for the heat signatures. There's no one there. If you were right... If it was a flashing light signal both times, something flashed through the storm to make the devices flip, then the flickering lights in Tarantula that flipped them back. The question is... Who sent the first signal? It wasn't Soleil. How do you... do you... how do you know? If Soleil sent the signals, she'd hardly have gone to all that trouble just so she could swap them back, would she? So someone else can control you and Soleil, Charlie. But who? I suppose we'll find out when we get up there. Um, are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? The jetty's smashed up with a big gaping hole in it the size of my nan's living room. The burn clearly don't want anyone going to investigate. They reckon without me and Tim, though, didn't they, darling? We've got a couple of tricks up our sleeves. I don't like this. It's not a question of liking it. I've never liked it. You liar. You absolutely love this stuff. Look, I'll put in another line. Oh, Crossbow, you never let me down. Look, Aaron, eight unbreakable steel lines across the gap. The bolts are buried in those wooden piles. Nothing's going to shift this lot, look. Don't jump on it. You're asking for trouble. It's fine. Come on, you just have to slide across it sideways. Aaron, give me your hand. Well, as it's you... Oh, do you know, this is really fun. It's all bouncy. Can I jump on it? Don't do that. Maybe you're right. Come on, Walker, you're next. And then we'll see what we find at the top of that lighthouse. How many steps is that, someone? I've lost count. 287... Eight, nine. Oh, you'd have thought that they could have made it 300, just to make it a round number. Can you hear anything on the other side of that door? Nothing. Stand behind, behind, stand behind me, Aaron. I'm armed. If there's anyone in there, I'll... We'll shoot them. Nice. Never had a bodyguard before. I'll be less, less of a loss to the party. Oh, I don't think that's... No one in here. Oh, I think that answers... It does, rather. I see what you're saying. All this equipment, giant arc lamps, generators, control devices, all smashed up. Like they had a party in here. Like the burn didn't want whoever had sent those signals to do it again. I can understand why. There's someone out there who can signal to the devices. Now we know why Soleil tried to kill Walker, Aaron and Lawrence. They were the ones who had their devices flipped over. And once she'd proved to herself how it had happened... She must have been so scared. It's a back door, isn't it? Someone out there can control the devices. And if they can control the devices... They can get back to me or to Soleil. They can hurt us. And they don't even need a hard access point. They can do it anywhere the boxes are. Soleil's strategy's changed. I know her. She won't allow a weakness like this to exist. She's going to try to kill you all. Finished, love. Almost. Bloody hell, what I wouldn't give for a photocopier. Long, long, two-second pause. 
Short, short, long, long, long. It's not Morse code. It's not any code I've seen before. We're sure it's not just like a lighthouse keeper went totally bonkers and wrote down the steps to his favourite line dance. Long, long, short, short, long. At least it wasn't a shopping list. When we were first piecing together the ripped up bits we found, I was convinced it was going to say fairy liquid, all bran, tampons, pita bread. That is a boring list, man. Don't you ever get, you know, alcohol when you go to the supermarket? Okay, done. Now me and Tim have a copy and you have one too, Walker, in case we work out anything to do with it. Either of us. So this is really goodbye? It has to be, I'm afraid. We really can't afford for Soleil to kill us all at once. Oh man, that is depressing. At least this way will be more trouble to her. Whether we get to Geneva or find some other way to use those flashing light codes. Shame these codes didn't do anything. We might not have the right ones. We only have one page. There could have been dozens. But there might still be other things we can do now we know about the light sensitivity of the boxes. And until we've worked something else out, you're still coming to Geneva. Pippa, Tim, you'll wait here for an hour. I'm sending Walker and Aaron southwest. You'll go southeast. And me? I'm going with Walker and Aaron. Uh, you wouldn't consider swapping with Pippa? No. no. You need me more than they do. You in particular, Aaron. Don't see why, soldier girl. We're totally okay without you. You got captured, locked in a in a in a locked in a van, struck by lightning and almost killed by radiation. We were all right before that. You got shot in the head. But here I still am. I'm the kind of person you need. Fair point. All right then, Pippa, Tim, we will see you in Geneva. No arguing. We will see you again, though. That's a promise. Okay, head down that path in front of you. It'll take you... It'll take us where that enormous flock of birds are circling like... Like a roiling cloud, as if the heavens had opened their turbulent, angry eye? I was going to say, like, they've spotted a lot of dead bodies, actually, but, yeah, that'll do. We have to walk under those birds. They give me the willies. I could try to find another way around. They're just birds. It's probably, it's, it's, it's probably the storm that scared them. Yeah. Birds are doing this more and more with the weather changes. Different species flocking together. That's horrible. It's like they don't even care about old proverbs. Okay, sooner and sooner out. Come on. The beaks are like, man, look at them. I think I actually saw one glinting. Who's that? I can't... Oh, there. An old man. Tweed jacket, see? There, on the ridge. Shouldn't we take him seriously, you know, listening to your elders and all that? You never listen to me. He's got the wind up him. What's going on? Only one way to find out. Let me zoom in and take a closer look. See if there's anything to be worried about. Ground looks undisturbed, nothing buried. No soldiers nearby, no buildings that are give cover. I can't. I can't His... Oh my God. Send them away, please. I've done nothing to you. Send the birds away, Soleil. It's Selwyn. It's Ivan's husband. Aaron, Walker, Stanton, cover your faces. If those birds have anything to do with Soleil... Selwyn! Are you Selwyn? You have to stay away! How do you know my name? She sent you. Was it Soleil? No! We're not with Soleil. We're... We're with Charlie. Charlie can go to hell. Tell her. If she's listening, tell her she can... Go to hell directly! Charlie, ah, 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 just an instinct, but I don't think this bloke likes you. I know, but we need him. I didn't realize. I thought he was dead. But 
We need him. Won't you go away? The birds. They don't like it if I... Oh, crap! The, the bird nearly... I think he tried to dive bump me. I tried to tell you. They follow me wherever I go, even if I'm just out for a walk. They really don't like it if I talk to people. Ah, one of them got my arm. That's really sore. Selwyn, is there shelter? Is that... Is there shelter nearby? We need to... If you stay away, they'll stop. We can't do that, I'm afraid. We need to talk to you. Come with me. This way. Uh... My house. But you can't stay long. I won't have Charlie in my house for long. What did she... What did you do to him, Charlie? She killed my husband. There. They've settled down for now. I don't like the look of them, though. Look at them. All beady-eyed, lined up on the roof of the barn, watching us. Don't stand so close to the window, Aaron. I don't want them looking at you. Not going to recognize me, are they? They're just birds. They're Soleil's birds. How is that window... How is that even possible? I don't know. Soleil's been getting more control of some very strange weapons. Listen, while you're here, have some tea. I've got a camping stove. I'm not telling you this for Charlie's sake. I'm telling you for yours. She's dangerous. Oh, Selwyn. I am... Wait, let me just... Selwyn, can you hear me? I am sorry. I really am. I didn't know. When I sent you in that car, I didn't know what Soleil was planning. Be quiet, Charlie. I will talk to your friends because they need my help. And we all need someone to stop Soleil. And because I have important things to tell them that may help. But not you. God. Do you know that I remember the day they switched you on? There was a ceremony at the lab. Ivan held my hand when he spoke the first words to you. Oh, Selwyn. I told you to be quiet. My husband, Ivan Marchetti. Ivan was a good, kind, clever man who never treated you with anything but the greatest respect. And you... You used us. That morning of the first EMP told us to get in a car, drive to Edinburgh, when you and Ivan realised that Lawrence had let Soleil out of her box. We raced down the motorway for you, and when the EMP hit... I know. Shut up! When the EMP hit, we skidded, turned over. My airbag... I was fine. A couple of bruised ribs. And Ivan. They say seat belts only fail one time in a million. But it has to happen to someone. He went through the windscreen. Oh, May. I'm so... May, I'm so sorry. We are. We can't hope to say anything that would make any of this... Oh, bloody hell! Get, Get away, away from, from the, the window. window! The birds! That window, that, that... They're trying to come in through the window! Dive bombing! You have to get into deeper cover where they can't drop from such a distance. Woods, a quarter of a mile away. Go! Go now, all of you! May, so sorry. Do you know why these birds have got in for you? They've been watching me since I came back to the house. I... Ivan's special area was the biolink. The thing that means those devices can only work for one person. That means they'll stop working if they don't detect signs of life from you. He worked at an underground lab not far from here, near the coast. Tarantula. Is that what they call it? Soleil thinks I know something. She sent the birds after me. 
to make sure I don't talk to anyone. I don't think Soleil... I don't think she can do anything to birds. Unless there's some... I mean, there was a program trying to drug animals to behave differently. Whatever she did, Shaw, it's working. They're all waiting for us at the far side of this wood. I can see them on the pylons. And do you? Selwyn, do you know something? I think I do, yes. At least, I know where to find something. Information very dangerous to Soleil. She doesn't want me to share it. And even if she doesn't plan to use it herself, she wants to know where it is so she can make certain they're destroyed and not found by anyone else in the future. That's why the birds... Is it a window? Is it a... is it a... code? Something like we've written down here. Looks like Morse code, but not. It's a set of codes like that, yes. I don't know how you'd input them without electricity, but... Ivan had the hard wipe codes for Charlie and Soleil. Yes, the birds have been much more active lately. A huge flock arrived five days ago. That and the huge number of troop movements persuaded me to go out walking, to see if I could find out what was going on. I was sure it must have to do with Soleil's search for the codes. Ironic, really. Soleil's attempt to keep you quiet actually led us directly to you. It was a strange massing of birds that made me, 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 that made me convinced we had to come this way. Wait. You mean we didn't have to walk under all the birds and you made me? We lucky we haven't been shot on, you know? Good thing you did. Perhaps for the world. So you say the codes were broadcast via light flashes? I think Bartle was working on a prototype of something We're along running out of cover here, Charlie. I'll just say it because I kind of like my face without massive gashes ripped by bird's beaks, yeah? I'm thinking. I'm... Selwyn. I know you don't want to talk to me. I understand why. I didn't think she'd act so quickly, Selwyn. I knew the EMP was a possibility, but I didn't... You have to believe me. I loved Ivan too. He was the only person. I never would have risked it if I thought Soleil would do it. I miss him too. I know. And I know it wasn't you, really. I know it was Soleil. But I still can't forgive you. Not yet. I understand. I still have to try and help you all. We have pages of code here. We know they did something to disrupt the link between the devices and the hosts. They might do something to the link between Soleil and the birds. Whatever that link is. It's worth a shot. All of you have something with mirrored surfaces? My glasses? Regulation thermal blanket. And a spare for you, Walker. I've got a mirror. What? A man can't want to look nice for any girls he happens to meet in the wilderness? OK, then. I'm going to ask you to break cover and do that string of mirror flashes at the birds. But don't look at it yourselves. We don't want a repeat of last time. And if it doesn't work? We'll be an open, open, open window. We'll be an open country without defence against those birds. So we hope it works. Long flash. Wait for one second. Short flash, short flash. Charlie, I don't think it's... I think they're dive-bombing us. We're not pigs and we haven't stolen your eggs. Wait, I think I got that last one wrong. Didn't leave enough of a pause. Once more and try to get closer to them. Closer? That one nearly had my head off. Long flash, long flash. Two second pause. Long flash. Wait for one second. Short flash. Short flash. Ah! That one's. Ah, Charlie, we have to get indoors. We. Wait. It's working. The birds are falling out of the sky. We've got it then. The thing that will. 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 we've got the thing that will defeat them. Wow, 
looks weird. It's raining birds. And not in the good way. Ow! That one got my head! That hard! That's not a bird. None of them are. Look. When they fall, they break. They look like birds, but they're not birds. They're window. They're... 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 They're drones. Cadets! I'd say Soleil was doing quite well in getting control of some advanced weapon systems. Wouldn't you? They're getting closer. Yeah, we noticed. If you want peace, prepare for war, as they say. They were always going to find us after we killed her birds. I have the one thing she still really wants. Other than the world. They're firing indiscriminately. They won't even have half a chance of hitting us at this range. Might Soleil, might she, might she, window, might she not harm us if she knew Selwyn were with us? Because, as you say, she wants to destroy the codes with her own hand, as it were. I suspect she might be even more interested in killing Walker and Aaron here. As much as one can attempt to divine the wishes and intentions of a machine... She's always been ruthless. She was programmed that way. That's the way she is. Her tactics have changed since Pillar of Fire. Probably she'll kill any of you on sight. Did you train as a counsellor, Charlie? Because your sensitivity and comfort is really... Look. Cluster of houses at the far edge of this chalk pit. The curve of the land will hide us from view of the soldiers. Maybe someone in one of the houses will shelter us. Move. Help! Help us, please! We're, please, we're being chased! This is the last house. We can't break a door down. If they come this way, they'll spot it at once. Our only hope is if someone has an attic and we'll... Open up! It's urgent university business! That works on students, anyway. Sorry, sorry. I was just putting on some calamine lotion. Hence the, uh, <laughs> hence the blotchy face. Uh, come in, come in, come in. Oh, thank you. Thank you. We're in need of some help. We just need a little rest and shelter. Just need to hide here until some very unpleasant people pass by. Oh, goodness. Come in. This sounds terrible. Man, those bites on your face look nasty. We've had a terrible infestation. I think the storms blow the little buggers in. <laughs> Now, listen. You need to be hidden, you say? Just until the soldiers pass by. Certainly don't want you to be hurt. You can hide in my cellar if you like. I just need to... Uh... Where is that thing? We had a leaflet, you see. What to do about strangers. I'm supposed to look for something. You don't need a leaflet, mate. We're here. We just need you oh, to... Oh, yes. Look, here we are. Here we are. Lovely young woman, Sophia, something, brought it round. She had a good chat with me about how we all need to pull together for the greater good. Oh, man, you too. Let me just get my reading glasses. I'm supposed to check for some kind of uh, equipment on any stranger. Hmm? Actually, I think we have to move on. Sorry to have troubled you. All a bit of a mix-up. Yes, we're... It's just... Sort of a game. You don't need to mention it to anyone. We're leaving now. Come on. <laughs>